Okay, this is BB. I can't, I can't breathe. Like, my chest, every time I want to fall asleep. Something jolts me awake, jolts me awake in my chest. It feels like it's on fire. My lungs. I don't know what they've done. I have no idea what they've done. But outside here, the front part of my chest, my rib cage, or just below my rib cage, it feels like it's on fire. See, my eyes have gone back to the old thing where I can't sleep anymore. have an interview on Tuesday morning and this is what they want just to get something part-time just to bring an income oh, I don't want to work online they've taken away the pleasure they, they've determined that that's not for me one man owns the internet because of the grand gesture of hacking he's a hacker you don't need to know um, anything else. His expertise lies in undoing what you do. I mean, I could do that. I don't even need a hack to learn how to do that. Just sit down and person do something, put one and one equals two, you pull them apart. Three and two equals four, you pull them apart. Five and five equals ten, you pull them apart. It's very simple what they do. Because they just follow your lead, basically. You do yes, they just pull the board. You do no, they pull it apart. Yeah, well, what do you think? It's like a brain dead job, and then they just sit on and tear it apart. You set an ad. You can't sit down and watch the campaign all the time. They've put something on your phone that filters the calls. Or they've cloned your phone where calls are going to them first. They're blocking it. I don't know how to do that, but I'm sure it's a one-time deal. Everybody that calls me or emails me is only what they want me to see, I see. And this was done a long time ago. This was done a long time ago. He's hungry for the website. He wants stamps. He wants the website. He wants my father's money. He seemed like they want everything. I'm telling them again. Whichever family member stole the stamps, they have to know the stamps are mine. Take them and go. My life is worth more than those stamps. There may be a lot of money, but a dead woman can't spend money. My father's money in the bank, our shares, life insurance. I'm hoping that they get caught with whatever it is. I'm hoping that they get caught and they spend some time in prison. But that can be done without me. I'm hoping that they get caught. The thing is, this is all planned, I know. This was all planned. To make sure that I don't have enough money to eat the basis, the basest of defenses, the most basic defense. I can't, I can't afford it. It's to build this system, whatever the fuck they've been plugging into my environment, to build it up to this extent where they knew this was going to happen. They want me dead. Now, if I'm telling them to take these things and go, you tell me, what do you, what do you think is the takeaway for this or the takeaway for them to push death on me.
It's got to be life insurance. My dad may have taken out life insurance on me. For the entire family. And this is what they're trying to get to. Is a life insurance. I don't know what they're trying to, to do here to create a problem for me. Where it seems like I have a multitude of illnesses. I don't know. I really don't know what to do and I need I need guidance and prayers. I need prayers. I need prayers badly. I need someone to pray for my lungs. I don't smoke. I never smoked since I was a teenager. I tried it. It made me sick and I stopped. I don't I never lived with smokers. I lived with a smoker. But after nineteen ninety nine I they lived with my grandfather. And I didn't have any problems with my lungs until recently, about a year ago. And I've been talking about that, didn't I? My lungs are getting a shot because of this. I'm getting to the point where I can't breathe. It feels like something is swelling up in my chest. Is it graphene? I don't know. I'm not sure. I don't know what it is. They're monitoring now for that word. Seems like that's not allowed to say the topic talked about. They're monitoring for it. I need your prayers. I need your help. for anybody to give me advice on how to handle this. I don't know what to do. The newest thing now to jolting you out of your sleep. I've said before, I think I know what happened to me. Somebody who took something from me paid someone to do this. And the people who they paid, well, they have their own agenda. <clears throat> they have their own agenda. Their own agenda is pushing them in these directions. Please give me some prayer. I'll pray for you too.